three of the most entertaining and compelling minds come together once a week to talk about absolutely nothing. Pop culture, stocks, parties, you name it. And also, your guess is as good as ours. This is Winging It. With Aaron and Austin Platts, here's Dylan Corbett. All right, welcome in. This is Winging It, the Platts brothers, Aaron and Austin Platts. I'm Dylan Corbett. Um, you know, yours truly here on your favorite podcast platform, Spotify, Apple Pods, you name it. Uh, you know, we have these very appropriate topics here that we jot down throughout the week. Um, I do want to start with something that um, is relevant, right? As my dogs join me down here, I'm on dog duty. Um, does 2021 feel any different? I mean, it, what's going on here? Does it ever feel different? It's real. Was it supposed to? <laughs> is that cliche? Is that too cliche? I think part of it, and this ties into another topic of winter just sucks. And I know we've hit on snow, but it's not just the slush that I walk into Lifetime Fitness on dr- drudging in throughout, um, bringing up to the workout floor, but it's the short days. I feel like I can't get shit done. It's dark early. It's just, it's too much. Well, yeah. I mean, if it switched from like cold to hot on January 1st, then it'd feel different. But well, um, that's what Aaron experiences. You don't have these down days. Well, we, yeah. yeah. So it gets dark early, right? Yeah. I mean, we don't have down days or anything, but it's still like pretty cold here, actually. It's probably, um, I live by the water. It gets like 40, 45 at night. Yeah. Is the water like, like freezing cold over there? Yeah. I mean, there's like, I don't, I'm not a scientist. I don't know how to explain it, but there's like a strong breeze and like an overcast a lot of the time. So like most of the year I wake up and the sun doesn't come out until like one, but if you drive into actual LA, it's like beaming. Right. Down. Here we go. Talking about weather again. No, but, uh... <laughs> did, did you ever take advantage? Cause speaking of the cold water and I don't think I've been in the Pacific ocean water. Um, have you taken up surfing? Like just gone out to try it once? No, I've surfed before, but not since like I moved here now. Did you see that crazy video? I think SportsCenter Instagrammed it or something where that uh, pro surfer had to go. It was a video of in Australia of just like the waves, like it, the, the undertow just sweeps you out and keeps crashing. And this guy had to like five people had to drag this woman out of the ocean. It was incredible. Yeah, that dude's a G. I saw that video. <laughs> Um, to answer your question though, Dylan, I feel like every year I'm always that guy that's like new year, new me. Yeah. And I have like four new year's resolutions, one including winning the lottery that year. Wow. But this year I completely forgot and I don't know what it is. So, well, uh, do you have an update? Are you guys doing sober January still? Cause I, I'm Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm itching for a beer right now, but I am, you are. Okay. So I when am, did you yeah. start? Uh, well, I mean, I haven't drank since the new year. Okay. So I, I guess the, yeah, but I decided to do it today. I'm just going to do like 30 days, no weed, no alcohol. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, so my buddy, Matt Cruz and uh, just started today too. It was a heady play by him, uh, you know, because it was so hard. You had new year's Eve, new year's day, and then it's a Saturday and then it's week 17. Um, so it was, uh, it's, props to him for doing it. I think I could do it for alcohol, but I don't know. I'll probably last a couple of weeks. Not even. Yeah. I mean, I woke up January 1st and all my friends were at the bar, so <laughs> I made it zero hours actually. Um, yeah. how was your new year's? It was popping. Really? Just yeah. at least. <laughs> how was yours? <laughs> Yeah, we we had a nice gathering. We didn't do anything special. Um, Yeah, we just hung out at our place. Did you do anything out in L.A. or was everything (laughs) shut down, Aaron? Uh, Dude, so (laughs) we were (laughs) were throwing a birthday party for one of my roommate's friends. It was like a birthday party slash New Year's Eve thing. Um, (laughs) Nobody's going to know this chick. This chick made a huge deal about it, right? Like it was was super inconvenient. We totally regretted doing it. And the day of she calls and she's like, I I was with my mom for an entire week and my mom tested positive for COVID like 30 minutes ago. (laughs) So everything's canceled. And then this girl, it was like supposed to be a birthday party for her. Like she has all the same friends as like my roommate Chelsea, but 
um then all of her friends are with her the night before so basically like no one could come <laughs> so we had a party there's like 15 people here it was awesome i yeah. mean it was a blast like but it just wasn't you know it's supposed to be this huge thing and then like nobody could come it was just funny you know you um you always got to make the most of it that was kind of what we did with just a couple people on that note you know vaccine we're getting to it I, i'm kind of with this thing is new year i'm waiting for it right the new year kind of feels the same right we're still in our homes you got the entire country of england uh you know shutting down lockdown and, and i guess let's touch into this because i find it fascinating and a little bit scary is the new variant uh, which I was like, at first I was like, what, what the hell, you know, there's a couple stories coming out of England where it's like, uh, you know, this variant was here and then it wasn't. And now it's like, this is a contagious thing. And then I saw it was in Colorado and that's when, you know, it's like, Oh God, it's here. So it's like, is this going to be over? Do we need a new vaccine for this? Uh, it's more contagious. Like this thing's crazy. A virus is insane. I don't understand the concept of it. I should have paid attention in AP bio. Dude, Before. Rachel was literally telling me those exact things like an hour ago, how it's in Colorado now. And I was like, oh, fuck. I, We're feel like, I feel like every month, though, they're like, oh, we got a new strain. Did you hear a new strain? It's deadlier than ever. I feel like I've heard that three times. Well, the first one from England was like, it was trouble with children. And then that was like very localized. But then this, so and then we hear England and we're like, all right, guys, you know, really? Okay. Uh, but then it's like, oh, now Belgium, you know, and that's how it started when it originated back in last December. And uh, God, I'm just hoping that the stock market doesn't crash. Who uh, cares? Just give me the fucking virus. I was just I'm so it. over this shit. Like you guys live in cities where you can do shit. I don't think people understand what it's like to live in L.A. Like <laughs> we cannot do a single fucking thing. Like you can go to the mall. That's basically it i don't even know why you're allowed to go to the mall but like <laughs> the hypocrisies are insane dude like they allow people to go to malls and like they're packed right but like we can't see uh eat outside or eat inside or like where yeah. i just don't understand like is everyone running the country an idiot like how are the smartest people they're supposed to be the smartest people in the world like not able to fucking figure out how to fix it I, it, and what's funny about that too is like hey we uh don't worry we're gonna let you do the thing that nobody's done in the last 12 years walk around a mall <laughs> uh <laughs> can't wait dude i was talking to someone and i was like i can't believe it's still going on and then they're like hey we the same <laughs> did, you see, did you see the new one <laughs> and uh she goes she goes i <laughs> I think it might last forever. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shut up. She's like, I'm serious. I think it might last forever. It's Jeez. just, I we're so tired, dude. Like, I'm not trying to be insensitive. And honestly, I think like our the demo that listens to this podcast isn't going to give a fuck. No, they're all fatigued. I'm with you. I everyone has so many issues in their life, whether it's like personal relationships, your job, like mental health is huge. At what point? Is it like everyone's mental health is 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 being completely destroyed? Like, I'm just too tired to like care anymore. No, mental health, especially during this time during winter and then being locked down. Like, imagine if you're in isolation right now. Like, those are the geez. If I was still up in rugby, North Dakota, you know who knows? Like, I just feel yeah, bad for people that are. I'd be interested to see like what the increase i mean i'm assuming increase in like suicide rates was from 2019 to like 2020 yeah because you might be saving x amount of lives but like what are you giving up there's always going to be those uh, lives yeah you're going to lose people and speaking you're going to lose small businesses people are going to speaking of depression you know you're losing your livelihood because the government forces you to shut down it's just crazy and <clears throat> this is the time we're going to be telling our grandkids of about that they're gonna be like what dad shut up and then i'm watching tiktok through my eye uh you know <laughs> with god we knows? went uh we went nine episodes without t talking about it and then finally we fucking asked yeah, <laughs> happy episode Dude, 10 it, it's <laughs> it's rough not to like, and so topical like, i mean we're talking i want to move i'm not even kidding la is great but what the fuck like the issue is so just to end it like we can tie yeah. it in a knot but 
they've taken it so much more seriously than literally every other city in the entire country. Like even New York had indoor dining open for like three months, you know, like we've been completely shut down since March, no gyms, nothing. Yeah. And it's gotten to the point where like, it's just, it's, it's, I don't even know what to say. Sorry. I don't know what to say. It's blowing my mind. Like all the people that are leaving the city, how they think like people will just take this forever. I feel like LA is literally going to have us in lockdown all of 2022. I mean, 2021. Sorry. I I mean, again, we'll take a right turn at Albuquerque here. We we hope hope is on the horizon. (laughs) Uh, I just thought about this. I saw a crazy clip. So Joe Rogan, um, I don't know if you saw this, but he was, you know, he does these long form three hour podcasts. He's one of the most popular podcasts in the nation. He was talking about how there was this report that aliens, did you guys see this? It kind of a callback to our last episode. This blew my mind. So aliens apparently came to the Zimbabwe school, Zimbabwe on, you know, continent of Africa. Uh, how about that geography? And uh, they, they like, not everyone had telepathy, but they, they had to telepathy with like 10 of the 25 students. And basically, you know, take that as you will, but I thought the message was crazy. They were telling these kids, technology is bad technology is going to ruin civilization it'll be the end of civilization we need to warn you and it's like you know well great maybe you should tell the scientists and not the three-year-olds in africa but you you know i just thought it was crazy that (laughs) technology became yes this was a i think it was a clip from joe rogan podcast in the last week um and it's just stories like that you know that are just going to be floated around but it is crazy how technology, our fucking phones, became an addiction more potent than heroin, yet it's legal and it's encouraged. Like, we can't live it without it in, to function. You know, there's better technology in our phone than there was to get us on the moon. I mean, I would the, imagine, right? that you know, in 40 yeah, years of innovation. That's a fact. Yeah, I mean it's it's wild, but the whole world runs off of it. So you know the whole world is. So run you're off telling me, <laughs> <laughs> yes, to recap. Dylan, you're telling me that a group of three year olds told their mom <laughs> an elementary no they- an elementary school like <laughs> in the classroom like it was a report like all the kids in the classroom had telepathy with aliens. Wait, was that the guy? Was that the um? They came down in 2017. They're claiming. I'm going to check right now if you want to filibuster for me, but I just, it's like this Joe Rogan t- TikTok fan page that I follow. And I would, sometimes it's just mesmerizing. I don't have time to listen to his entire podcast, but his clips are inter- interesting. I'm just typing. How does he Joe. get away with those three to four hour podcasts? It blows my mind. I know. He and he's been, and just... hasn't he done like 1400 episodes? Like when did what? he pop off? Didn't he sign like a hundred million dollar deal or something? Dude, he yeah, with Spotify. That's the future. Terrestrial yeah, but radio is have, done. Have you listened to his shows though? He's pretty smart, actually. He is pretty smart, but it's like the Dax Shepard podcast. Like once you listen to a lot of the episodes, he literally like said he's just always repeating the same thing. It's the same thing. Yes. You know what I mean? Like you hear the same exact thing a lot of the time. It's what I like is I just pick and choose whoever the guest is. Like the mm-hmm. episode with David Blaine was insane. It's was one of my favorite podcast episodes of all time. I think I first discovered his podcast from the viral Elon Musk interview, right? From a couple yeah. of inter- uh, a couple oh, of years yeah. ago. The one I listened to the full one was right when we got back from Vegas from my bachelor party, right when COVID was happening. And he had that infectious disease expert on. Um, and that kind of went viral, I think, a couple of days before we went to Vegas. And I'm listening to this on the drive back home from Denver from the bachelor party. And I'm like, the world's over. The world's going to end. Uh, Wait, if we're it. talking about um, technology and Elon Musk, he had a more recent interview with him. And they were talking about Neuralink, which is basically the robot surgery where they put a chip in your brain, in your head, <laughs> in your skull. And um it gives you the power to communicate to someone without speaking basically and can cure so all brain lit. diseases. That's so fucking weird. And he goes, Joe Rogan goes, how many years before we don't have to talk? And he goes like 15 years. <laughs> I, I'm trying to fuck it. I found the video, but I won't be able to play this audio. Um, 
that'll you guys won't be able to hear but i encourage you to look it up it'll blow your mind and you're brought you're talking about technology here was my thought that i was just kind of putting my mind in a pretzel so so what would be your favorite decade if you could go back i just started watching the deuce on hbo have either you seen it oh yeah i've seen the Mm -hmm. first season is it good that show so I, I'm pumped. Um, like that's the sixties, the seventies. I think I always hear the seventies and eighties. You want to go back. I think of friends for the nineties Seinfeld. That would be a cool time to go back, but imagine going back and spending a week in your favorite decade, which one would you guys pick? Cause I would like to see, I mean, I, I go through them all, but I think I would be, you know, the sixties, I I'd probably be. How good. old, how old are we? We're let's say 23. Do we in this theoretical situation? Are you you get to like, spend a day with another young adult, like the basically the twenty three year old version of you. So you can I experience like a, a crazy night on the town in the seventies. I love that. Like how where you go? Because I was gonna say, is this like if we could live in any decade? Where would we live? Or spend we just day. you just we get, get a week. Visit. You just get a week. Like which would you do? Because if I went to back to the twenties. You know, I'd be going shorting every stock in the century, but, you know, I'd probably go mad without That's a phone. what you would do with your week? No, nah, well, maybe. I don't know. You make a billion dollars and then come right back to 20. I definitely don't think I'd come to matches. the I know the outcome. 20s. Like, I don't think the you realize 20, 20s. what life was actually like. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Um, I feel like I, I would be, be so bored. Like we would be sitting in the living room, and this guy, this guy would be. What are we reading? Stone tablets? I don't even know what we'd be doing back then for fun, <laughs> tapping our toe. I feel like any movie you watch that's like before 1985, everything was super easy to get away with. So I would choose like the 60s. And that's just, what I was gonna say. Just rob everything. Just fuck or shit up. 50s. Yeah, just fuck shit up. <laughs> I'd like to go back to the 90s, kind of like if we were in Seinfeld and friends, like that's what I think of with just like experiencing where you try and catch your buddy before he left his apartment because then you couldn't, you couldn't like imagine that you couldn't call him if he's lost and he's supposed to meet up with you and he's not there for four hours. You can beep him or wait, would friends beep each other or is it just family members? Pagers? I thought that was just doctors. No, everyone had a pager back in the 90s. Remember the Blackberry? You like SOS, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, Dylan, the Blackberry. Our dad <laughs> he held on to the Blackberry until like two years ago. Like until 2019, he was like, it's so going to make a comeback. We're like, dad, every person. <laughs> In America, he's got the dial, the roll finger. An iPhone, give Wait. up on it. You know how the iPhone has like a huge reveal every time on like a big stage? He goes, Austin, come look at the Blackberry new phone. <laughs> it's just the guy on the stage and he just goes, well, here it is. <laughs> no one clapped. He's in a janitor's closet. There's like hanging materials behind him. I, I always think of Brick Breaker when I think of Blackberry. That's so oh, fucking funny. It's a Wait, great game. Can we go back to pagers? Is it literally yeah. just like three letters? I'm I'm clueless. Peep, everyone used to have a pager. Yeah. And yeah, every pager had a code. I don't think it's like three It's like letters, you're obviously. needed. Like, it's just like, and oh, you I'm paid paged. someone like, hey, fucking call me. It was basically a text without Ooh. anything. It was just like a, a notification. Like, hey, Austin's paging you. It means like get to a phone. And then there was like another way. you. There was like a secondary page that meant it was urgent. SOS. Sure. Hmm. I don't know. I never had a pager. I just know what they are. Are we missing we're, any we're decades? I, I think 2000s, like right when, uh, I mean, I don't know. We were kids. Like I would imagine if we were adults when uh, getting the party in the 2000s, like you never really hear about that being a crazy yeah. decade. Yeah. Also like the 20s yeah. would be sick if it was like 24 or five, yeah. because like 20s, yeah. the early 20s, was the pandemic and it was a fucking bloodbath dude like a ton of people died yeah, oh that would be yeah, hell. yeah exactly we go and back. then the 30s everyone got drafted to go to world war ii and in the 10s everybody fought more like then you think about the 50s yeah i'm good I'm, I'm good on the 30s 40s 50s 60s you might talk me into that i think that's just Woodstock, yeah right? i think yeah, yeah. We'll just do a bunch of drugs. have you seen that documentary what's no but i've heard it's fantastic oh my 
I you gotta I'm gonna watch. watch it tonight. It's so is it on HBO? Um, side note, I totally recommend uh, The Undoing. Did, didn't you watch The Undoing? I just finished it last night. It was yeah. it was pretty sweet. The ending was a little. It was, but it was. We'll cool. talk about it off air. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so here's the mind pretzel part, and this will wrap up our segment here. Now, imagine a person from 1920 in 2020, because <laughs> I think he would just spontaneously combust. I don't think he would be able to. Like, how could you? Th- we always talk about what the future is going to hold. Like, what will you know 2050 look like we have no idea but imagine what 1920s people as this kid is fucking rolling a fucking hula hoop with a stick down the street thinking oh now all of a sudden we a four-year-old has an iphone you you think he'd be like what the fuck's up with these pandemics (laughs) is that a light Uh, i guess they had lights back then Uh, what the fuck's up with these pandemics yeah, it's gonna be like, God damn it! This lasted a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, I heard, I heard something about, uh, I don't, I, I don't remember the year, but I learned this a long time ago. A lot of like psychologists or something have a theory that the first horror movie came out, let's just say, in like the forties or something. Yeah, and used to terrify people. Um, there was like this study done maybe a decade ago where psychologists said. If somebody from then watched an actual horror movie now, like, like, you know what? I, what am I trying to think? No, of? Like, no, Insidious. Like, what, Let's say like Insidious, one that's like really scary, that they would die of a heart attack immediately. What? Because if you wa- if you watch the horror movies from like the forties, yeah, dude, it, <laughs> it's not a scary like it's not even right, remotely it's scary so to us. Terribly done. It's like laughable, like how unscary it is. They say that people would immediately just have heart attacks and die. My, uh, so I mean, scary. yeah, shit is scary now. Uh, when my, think, when real quick, when you think about it, the fact that you can call someone in China and see their face real time, I mean, I, how can you like, think about like, it? how did FaceTime become the new calling? Why do we even have a call anymore? Like, it's, there's going to be a time where we're all going to have iPhones, and we're just going to be FaceTiming. Well, I feel like people are super against it or super with it. Like, I have certain yeah. people I only FaceTime, True. yeah, then, no, that's a fact. Yeah, there is certain times that you FaceTime, but eh, that's a good topic for another time. Well, so then it's like at this point, if we're going to thirty twenty, right? Yeah. Sure. It's like, all right, we'll have cured everything, you know, gene editing. <laughs> Maybe we'll probably populate Mars for sure by then. <laughs> we're it's like imagine people from twenty twenty looking at or twenty one. 20 what did i say 30 30 20. You said 20 30 in nine years <laughs> no i said 30 20 i meant 21 21 okay similar similar thinking um here's a discussion that came up while we were watching um i think it was new year's day games but so we were all looking at our screen times and that's the one thing for me i uh it just pops up every week i'm like what the fuck you know like when did they start sneaking this on us uh, it was probably like a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. Um, I never paid attention to it, but people were t- talking about it. I was like, oh, I have, you know, five hours. Um, and then uh, one of my buddies had nine. So, and people like lost their shit. So I was just wondering what is an appropriate screen time? Um, I mean, it's probably alarming enough to people that are not with it. Um, like, you know, our parents and shit that five hours is one thing, but I thought that was low is nine crazy nine hours a day. <laughs> You're talking about the daily average. Yeah. What's the app? <laughs> what are you at? Yeah. I got to find I don't, I've settings. seen it before. I just never use it. It's oh, settings. Yeah, settings. It's like okay. six one down settings screen. <laughs> I'm six hours, 15 minutes, nine percent <clears throat> down yeah. from last week. Yeah. That's my daily bad. average. Uh, well, it's nine hours, but that's <laughs> <another week. laughs> no, 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 but that's uh, this week. And that's because yeah. I literally used my phone all day yesterday. I only used it four hours today. Yeah. I mean, what? That, that's the thing. I don't get why people are so like, oh, we're all can you s- to our phones. It's can like, you okay. see your like overall. I think it just average? tells you like up Wait. percent from last week or not. Click see all activity. Oh, my God. TikTok is like, oh, my God. Speaking of the action network. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get to that. Um, I want to get your brief account and then we'll bring Brennan on. He's our next guest, Brennan Duarte, TikTok star. 
um tiktok star also with us all the time aaron platt 16k uh follow that for good content um people forget. Austin, yeah people forget uh austin just briefly you came up with the idea was this a viral challenge so or you were just kind of yeah you, this was sprung upon your lap so we it was like three in the morning and we discover brendan has this talent that we never knew we had i'll wait for him to come on to explain what it is but it absolutely blew our mind and we immediately were like dude we're gonna go viral this is like insanely cool so um yeah we hit the millie club on tiktok and um we're gonna what? have them on damn that blew wait, a million views yeah Jesus. isn't that crazy that that one stupid ass video of me making buffalo chicken dip <laughs> That was your first video, and you got 3.6 yes. million views. Yeah, and it's like, dude, that's a skill Brendan has. Like, that thing should be going super viral. My favorite was uh, the Snapchat of you got from Brendan. Uh, <laughs> oh, the one that open. I sent? <laughs> yeah. That will forever happen. Austin, you remember, like, last Christmas when Brendan sent me that Snapchat? And oh, so- Yeah. I got to find it. I'll find it. All right. Well, so I've got some first follow-up questions for you, Austin, because I I think we all kind of – so how many times, first of all, have you said, oh, this is going to go fucking viral? You know, just rough (laughs) estimate. I mean, not many where I truly believed it. This one you truly believed? Yeah, dude. I mean, seeing this real time, we (laughs) – we did it. it it's the like reactions hours. in the back for me. Like you and Brad losing your shit. We did it from like 3 a.m. to 4.30 a.m. And then we did it for another two hours the next day. Just sitting there in awe at Brendan's talent. I mean, it is just the coolest thing in the world. And um, let's explain the talent for the listeners. Should sure. we explain it? Okay. Yeah, it will, he'll give his side. Basically, you play a millisecond of any of his songs, and he immediately knows what song it is and who the artist is. And he has over 1,200 songs, and it's even when we, when we click shuffle. It's literally boom, boom. It's, you, it's literally the Some song of them goes, are just incoherent noise. They'll go boop. He'll know it. He'll go, he'll know it. Like, it's, it's the most <laughs> insane thing. Barstool Sports TikToked it. Yeah, yeah, Which that's is wild. Like, I, I can't believe he knows like the name and the artist because I have like yeah. three thousand songs on shuffle that I listen to constantly, and I I couldn't tell you like what the name of the song is. Uh-uh. So I haven't tried it, but uh, all these trolls keep coming out. Yo, cat, bro, we can all do that. Um, I don't understand how. First of all, how does this go viral? Uh, you know, what does TikTok decide to go viral? I mean, no shit, it's fucking awesome. Um, but I was shocked at how that just blew up. Like TikTok just grabbed that and was like, oh, people are going to love that on free you page. Well, it started out by us, um, not showing that it was on shuffle. Yeah. So you of can- course, everybody, it fueled the comments when True. you think about it. People are like, oh, how did he get away with yeah. that? That's and how then, stuff goes viral. Yeah. So, you know, on our first video, we got 700 comments and on our third video, we got 800 comments. And the comments are pretty funny. Like everyone, <laughs> yeah. fake. and it's not fake. It's it's not. I love the comments that are always like people that think this is real, and then a bunch of clown emojis. Yeah, <laughs> it's a cat, bro. That dude's got an AirPod in. Welcome to the cap store. <laughs> Listen to this. The top comment is him trying to remember the names that they told him before this video. Eighteen thousand <laughs> likes on that comment. <laughs> I mean, people are just out here to hate, dude. I swear. Um, it, it started out by us just like playing songs for him, and then he'll say the artist and the the name of it, and he was doing it so quick. Well, we're he like, has wait. great taste in music. That's how he knows so many. And then we're like, wait, can you do it like immediately? And he's like, try it. I don't know. And then he was just did it, and we were just like, there's this is not normal. Like this isn't normal at all. I don't know the name of any of my songs. I just know they sound good. So you tried it because I haven't. I haven't tried it myself. And yeah, I mean, I don't have as. I've got like nine hundred songs, so I guess it's not as impressive. Uh, how often were you checking your phone when that was blowing up? 
Dude, it was too much. It was like every second, 99 plus notifications. Oh my! And I haven't even gone through all the comments and read them because I feel like I'll just do it when it dies down. (laughs) Um, I'm sure Brennan and other people have looked at all the comments though and we'll touch on it. Oh yeah, we'll ask him about that. I was going to say, Aaron, you've had some that have popped off in the hundreds of thousands. My best is just the, uh, I think it was the stock market one. Yeah, I hit 8,000. But I, I just didn't. That's another question I have for you, Austin, is that how are you going to keep it up? You know, I see so many people just miss out on trends and then they'll just disappear from my FYP page or whatever. Dude, honestly, like I'm totally cloud chasing Brendan because I'm the one that TikTok <laughs> and it's just Brendan <laughs> in the TikTok. Um, he should have he should have posted it. But um, you're right. I while I'm hot, I got 2000 followers now. And Jesus. I started out with like 60. So yeah, was, I got to keep the train running. I was hella jealous, actually. Um, <laughs> But like we were saying, Aaron's first TikTok of him just making Buffalo Chicken Dip got almost 4 million views. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah. Imagine dude. making a video, getting that many views. You're probably like, it's happening. It's like a new fucking high. And I got a bunch of followers from it. So like random videos i do pop off now probably right. like once every six weeks the way to answer your question though the way to go viral is what tiktok does is they're going to take your video and they're going to send uh put it on like 50 people's for you page and then if like a few people like it they'll expand it to 250 then 500 then a thousand so all you oh, need okay, right. is you need to grab people's attention and have them like it or you need the comments to be popping off because like people won't like it, but if you have a ton of comments, it'll they'll keep showing it to more people. Right. That's why like a lot of videos you see that you're like, this isn't fucking real. And the first thing you want to do is comment. You're you look and it has like a hundred thousand comments. Right. Because videos that piss people off go viral. I, I don't understand how some creators literally post it every single day, like just coming up with shit. I, Dude, I don't understand. So it. exhausting. I know. I um I went to Brendan. I go, Brendan, do you ever think you'll be on, you'd be on Barstool Sports? He goes, not for something intelligent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love their caption. That was so fucking funny. New- yeah. <laughs> Isaac Newton, this guy, Einstein. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Dude. Um, we'll get him on here in just a second, but with a programming note, we are losing Aaron Platts. He'll be around, but uh, busy schedule, work, piling up, new year. Uh, just want to give an ode to his time with us. We appreciate it. 10 episodes and he'll be around here, but again, we do appreciate his time and it's uh, busy for you. So Aaron, thanks for being a part of the pod. We'd love to have a pleasure. You. Yeah. It won't be the same, but we're going to keep plugging along Austin, myself, and we'll hold auditions for the third boys. Cause I think that was the beautiful part about this was the three uh, connecting voices. So Aaron, you will be missed, sir. Thank you, man. I've, I've had a blast, but yeah, just new year. I got a lot going on. Um, in other news, I just found out the bachelor premieres tonight. Not oh, Jesus Christ. Don't get me started. This but is dude, a great way. The bachelor is so much more lit than the bachelorette because it's all the chicks. <laughs> right. True. Yeah. Okay. I'm pumped. I'm so- super pumped. So you gotta, you know, I'm the minority here. You got to get me into this. Because I guess I never gave it a chance when we were growing up, but like, or I guess like, you know, what, why was this a comeback? Like this has been around forever. And I feel like it didn't get super dead popular until like the last four years. And I'm walking by Kelsey watching it and it's just, it's reality television to me. I can't, I can't. Do yeah. It. But you know why it's because in my opinion, and people get hotter every year, you know, like with plastic surgery and like Botox and like, just take a look at, at girls, like celebrities from the early 2000s. You look back, you're like, whoa. I think that the more attractive people they brought on the show, the show just gained steam every year. When the show mm-hmm. gaining steam, they made more money. And like Chris Harrison's a motherfucker. Oh, he's that hysterical. dude's pulling some strings to make shit happen, you know? <laughs> like they're behind some stuff. There was like one season uh, on Peter's season where – he had like this country singer do a private concert for him and one of the girls. It turns out that was the girl's ex. The country singer was and like Peter had no idea. It's like 
they they're doing they're pulling some sketchy shit and it's super entertaining i feel like it's always been super popular with the girls yeah Um, and like i've watched a couple a few seasons only i've never really watched the bachelorette i tried to watch this year but i just couldn't uh aaron you're right the bachelor is way better and I mean, I'm not going to lie. It is really, really hard to watch sometimes. Like, <laughs> it's, I can't do it. I can't I mean, last 10 there, minutes. You're like, all right, let's go. Yeah, this is this is cool. Look at all these hot people. And then it gets like so dramatic. and They're so- just fighting and screaming at and each other. And it's so scripted sometimes. Yeah, like- and then it gets all lovey-dovey. And you're like, all right, well, now I've had enough. So oh, let me, let me dude, know who, don't who makes it to the top four. Do I, I, I don't understand it. And it's not true love, man. Um, no, I mean, <laughs> like, what, it, it, that's just so funny where it's like, yeah, no, I, I feel like I love you too, but I got to use the romance suite with Brad to find <laughs> out first. Uh, it's like, all right. You know what the funniest part of the show is like <laughs> at hometowns, there's four people left. And this guy has to dead ass look every one of these girls' fathers in the face and be like, if I decide <laughs> to want to marry your daughter, yeah, do I have your blessing? And yeah. every time one of the dads is like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you have to sign up? Like, well, I assume you have to be good looking and single. Like at what point in your life are you just like, God damn it. All right. The only way I'm going to find love is signing up for the bachelor. I mean, who, who is doing that? Are these all actors? Usually the bachelor gets taken as like a runner up. Oh, from, okay. That's right. But yeah, from the bachelor rat. Um, but the traditional you, candidates, though. Yeah, like, like originally they had to start to, somewhere. Yeah, right. Um, but you were talking about it not being true love, and I, I'm curious as to how many bachelors end up with the person opposed to ending up single. I, I thought it was just the first 50%. one ever, and like now, no, no, there's no? a few of them, like uh, JoJo and Jordan Rogers, Aaron Rogers' brother. Oh, okay, um, that's right. They were like <laughs> that, three that got him a ago. job in broadcasting. Him appearing Dude, on The Bachelor, and they have their own. I think they have two uh, HGTV shows about like flipping houses. HGTV oh, yeah. is lit. Yeah, so, I might get my more- real estate license. Something I might sign up for. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop that in there. My mom suggested it to me. Good to like, know. <laughs> it's like you're super into real estate. I'm like, all right, yeah, maybe I'll do it. Um, uh, I will be watching though. Oh, is it, wait, it's tonight is how do i watch it live dude it's it premieres for you in in 14 minutes on cbs that's oh. perfect we'll uh wrap this up get brennan duarte and get you right for the rose ceremony or whatever the fuck it is okay second guest we love it brennan duarte or you know you might be going to hollywood on us but you heard the austin side of the story about this talent of brendan being able to know every single fucking song in his life by one note. Bro, come on. The 100 Shooters one was easy. I was mad at people in that comment. Um, but Jesus Christ. So we were just talking with Austin about how that came to be and how confident – like Austin was confident that was going viral. What were you thinking? I don't know. I was telling Austin this. Like I have always been able to do that, and I thought it was always just like completely normal, like – I never thought it was ever like a talent. So like, I obviously never showcased it. And then we were just like sitting in Drew's room the other night and Austin and Brad were like, Brennan, you know, so many songs, like, do you think like you could, you could name all the songs? Like if we, if we played you some from your library and I was like, yeah, probably. And they started playing them and I started getting them like super quick and they were like freaking out. I was like, what? (laughs) And then that's kind of when I realized, I guess it's not that normal. <laughs> um, my, so who had the idea? You're like, all right, you got to TikTok it. And uh, how often were you looking at your phone when it first started blowing up? Um, I'm pretty sure Austin posted that at like 3 a.m. <laughs> when I was in bed. And I woke up and it was kind of starting to blow up. And I was, I mean, I was probably looking at it definitely a few times an hour god that's got to be like a new high um i mean my <laughs> god everyone was chasing that but i, I don't know that was crazy Wait, so Brendan, what are you i do can't to- even like if uh, you play one of my songs in my library for like five seconds i'll like be able to hum to it and like know what it is i couldn't tell you the name of the song or the artist 
<laughs> yeah. Like, how have you memorized all of that? That's insane. I don't know. For me, like the I get the artist first always, and then I sometimes I have to like play it in my head and like, get to the chorus <laughs> part the song before I can realize the song. That's like why when you see the video Barstool posted, I'm like going like this because I'm like trying to get the tune of the song. Um, what was your reaction when you heard Barstool picked it up? Um, I was like, I don't know. I've always kind of wanted to be on Barstool, but I, I told Austin, I was like, I, I don't think I ever thought I was going to be on Barstool for something intelligent. I thought I was going to be for, <laughs> like doing something rockily. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to capitalize on? Because I was talking with Austin, you got to keep momentum. Uh, I mean, it is a pretty, you know, how many you should do it standing on your head or something next time. But yeah, uh, anyone knows how to make money off of this, let me know. But I think anyone or anywhere will pay you to name songs as quickly as possible. But you're a creative guy. Like, that's why everyone you're so everyone's seeing your profile and then they go to your profile and there's just one video. Like, you never got into the game. Run and yeah, there's but a... like a lot of people posting. There's a new show on ABC. I literally saw the commercial for it yesterday. They play you like one second of a song and you have to name it. Winner gets like 100K. I swear to God, your video went viral yesterday. Yeah, what I'm the watching fuck? Sunday football and they're like, new show on ABC. And it's like, can you guess this song? They play it for one second. And Speaking of shows, I can't make it 10 minutes through. Uh, Jesus Christ, any of those. But seriously, if a, <laughs> something that you got picked up. No, we it's reach out to the sure. right people. Drew yeah. was telling us about that. It's called Name That Tune, I'm pretty sure. And go figure that, like, the one day they start promoting it, Brennan does this. Yes. Um, it's like destiny. Was... <laughs> yeah, maybe well, they'll hit me up. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> we'll, we'll reach out. We'll get you a talent manager. Were you pissed you didn't post it? Austin, I guess, feels bad that you got all the uh, he got all the clout. No, not really. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> What's this about you getting on Ellen's show? Because you look like her somewhat? I do. That is my doppelganger. Um, so I'm hoping she sees it and lets me on. She won't be able to tell us apart. <laughs> Brendan's the um, Brendan's the type of guy that'll listen to a new song and know all the words after like two Dude, listens. we used to rap Juicy J all throughout high school in your car. Um, Back. I, I think it was all about, yeah, you just have a great knack for mem memorization. You could rap a song like just hearing, could you, yeah, you could do it probably just from instrumental, right? On most songs? I, a lot of them. Yeah, I don't know. I've always, like with music, I've always, like I suck at like playing instruments. I couldn't tell you what note certain things are, but like lyrics and stuff, I just get it really Wait, that's, easily. That's got to be the next step is uh just playing like a beat and you being able to fucking uh you know reiterate word for word with a fucking blindfold on what did you make <laughs> of the people uh saying cap yeah th no matter what you do someone's gonna comment and say that it's fake somehow someone said it was the video was being played in reverse <laughs> <laughs> what? i don't know how that works. i'm trying to think of some other fun i mean there was a bunch of that, oh, he has AirPods in and someone's talking to him. I was from looking real hard because I was, one of my favorites is seeing uh, the comments. And Aaron kind of alluded to this, right? Uh, how you need comments to kind of blow up your post. Um, mm -hmm. but <laughs> it was just so fun. What was your favorite comment? Someone just trolling you. Uh, uh, someone commented and goes, this is fake with your Kylo Ren looking ass. <laughs> and if you look up, I have no idea who Kylo kylo ren was yeah, you're not a movie a guy this podcast but right here put a picture of kylo ren and he right. looks absolutely nothing like we'll put it side like by side with ellen degeneres too that'll be yeah <laughs> and that, your hair's looking great today is it uh, it's not combed or anything but i appreciate it <laughs> no problem Brennan, so what's been going on? Did you enjoy your New Year's? Welcome to Winging It. Again, uh, we had Kayla Nesgar <laughs> last week, so we appreciate you stopping by. But hell of Jesus Christ. I mean, it's four days in the New Year, and you're already viral, you know? <laughs> I, yeah, great start to 2021 for me. Um, it's going to be hard to uh, beat this, but, yeah, I, I had a good – Do you have any plans, or are you kind of just soaking it in right now? Right now, just soaking it in, waiting for – 
Ellen or name that tune to reach out to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'll get on that. I'll put that on. I was sure to I, it was solid. I just did some shit here in fucking Minneapolis. It's cold as shit. We already got to how winter sucked. Are you doing sober January? No. Fuck. I don't think so. Do you have a New Year's resolution? Um, mm, we know Drew does, but when I Yeah, we know Drew does. What's his? Uh, well, when when Drew made when Drew forced me to share my share a New Year's resolution in an, in, in the Uber we were in. Uh, forced me to share a new year's resolution to our uber driver um i told our uber driver my new year's resolution is to stay more organized um yeah, very nice. so yeah Pop out. <laughs> what, what was drew's you didn't get to that we won't get into it okay all right it's sensitive <laughs> issue um <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> do less kratom <laughs> <laughs> That'll never happen. Come on. Someone explain to me how, Brennan, you, you're a fan of Kratom too. I, I don't even explain it. I, isn't it just like a gross ass fucking kale shake? <laughs> um, the way Austin drinks it. Yeah. But you can also take pills and it's basically just like a, a natural, like very minor painkiller. It's, it's like relaxing, I guess. Or you make tea with it. Huh. Yeah. Totally and, and it's it's legal, right? Like as opposed to yeah, geez. like half yeah. the states, including Missouri. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, Brenda, we do appreciate you stopping by. We'll hope to hear from you more in the future. Uh, check it out on Barstool Sports. So they only could they only TikTok it. They didn't post it on Instagram, did they? Yeah, um, they just they just TikToked it, but they they DM me on Instagram, and I'll tell you what. No fucking way. DM from Barstool on Instagram. It's a rush. Oh, so that's how they hit you up for the video on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're they're like, hey, we want to use this video. I don't know for what. They're like, can you submit it online? And I was like, for sure, dude. Yeah, <laughs> what do I you totally think that was. Like some intern. It's gotta be some like nobody kid. But was- Brandon, what did you think of the caption? Because I that caption was so fucking funny. And I like how does Barstool operate their social media? Because it's so coordinated. Is it like a multiple team? I don't know, but I like the caption a lot. I, I thought they were gonna like try and like flame me or something. In it. <laughs> you were nervous. Yeah, but they they did me uh, well in the caption there. Yeah, they should have done uh, Einstein, Newton, and Kylo Ren. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brett, we appreciate it. Winging in episode 10, Aaron Platts, Austin Platts. I'm Dylan Corbett. Um, Brennan in the weeds here. He's also in the weeds of TikTok. So check out that video on Barstool. I was showing all my friends and they were sending me screen caps of them already seeing it. And I was just like, that's <laughs> fucking nuts. Uh, we'll talk to you guys next week.